what? I said the UFC Fight Night like is good too. Oh yeah, I know. Bro, I'm waiting for part two. Of this video? Yeah, because he, there's things on the board that he didn't talk about yet. Like I'm waiting for Mr. Beast for lamptherpy. Oh. I need to see what, what he combos up with that. Because Look, that's what me and are waiting for. I don't know why I was so surprised about Contessa almost died. Because low key, like some of them do look a little dangerous. But yeah, oh, Eddie, some of them almost died. Yeah, Eddie, I'm I mean, not. I'm not going with you, right? Huh? I'm not going front with you. All of that shit scripted. I'm not going front with you. But that's just scripted. Really? He a liar. He a scammer. Well, I mean, I felt like there was some scripting to it, but not no, like all of it scripted. He a liar. Like a hundred percent. He a liar. He lied on nah. our faces. I mean. I guess it I makes can... sense, but like the whole point, it makes sense with the whole point of his content is not supposed to be fake. So like, mm, that's like the same thing with like pranking YouTubers back in the day. That's so it all, and also just the way he goes about running things. But yeah. like, just watch the video, you'll we'll find out more. You'll find out it's crazy. Wait, like, remember there was like that big thing, that big deal, like that he wasn't eating for like, uh, like a month or something like that, and like he made a video on that. I don't know about that. No, yeah, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to switch up enchanting table on the thing. On the on the crafting table, but it won't let me. It's raining outside. Uh, hi, I wanted to provide some context to this video. I'm a former Mr. Beast employee, and today you I'm you judging that the company. Bro, who is bro? Yo, what? What did you say? I able to switch up anything in the crafting table. Oh, bro, do you see the book in your thing? In the crafting table, there's like a book. Click that. It's yeah. Like a green book. Saying I'm searching up enchanting table in the in the thing. And it's probably just not in your your recipe. Do you know how to make an enchanting table? I do, but I, um, I want to learn how to make a book. I forgot how to. A book is one leather, three three paper. But how does that work? It is it, not in the thing though. It's not in my. I don't know. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. I think it's like a glitch. Okay. Uh, rigged videos and uh, did illegal lotteries and sold fake signatures. I I would consider that fraud. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy the video. Wait, what? Bro, look tweaked out. Alex, what? Uh, hi, I wanted to provide some context to this video. I need to share again. Recent play, and today I am alleging that the company uh, rigged videos and uh, did illegal lies. Eddie, you know how you know this thing got to be real, though? Go, go into his, go, not his comments, go into his description. Look at what it says, the first thing. This video not, is monetized. not monetized. He's not, he's not, bro, he's not, not making money off this. He do, this he's just doing, he's doing it because he hates him. He's doing it for the love of the oh, game. I can't, he's doing uh, it because he, you know. Wait, Eddie, there's sugar cane? He's doing it for a purpose. Uh, sugar cane? Yeah, there's some by my house. You know how are crazy you, that is? Are you going? Okay. Okay, thank you. Bro, I can't lie. Bro looks tweaked out, but yo, he definitely he definitely got some vendetta because it, bro put no monetization, no nothing, no... The video. Bro, so this is bro, the thing, bro, the thing is, I think he 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 was building up the evidence and he waited for a time to like get him, which was a Chris yeah. thing, which talking about like, oh yeah, he might have known, so he comboed up with that and he even said this is not about Chris like that, like this is not all about Chris, it's about everything. Yo, uh, about the Chris stuff, probably in part two or three. Um, bro, hide it. Because I see a lot of people saying like, oh, if you knew, why didn't you come forward? Why didn't you go to the authorities? Well, I was gonna come forward and also like. Going to the authorities isn't going to work because what are you going to say? Like, you heard rumors that this person is this way or that. You know, there's obviously evidence of like the shad based stuff. Like, that's been out for a while. People have internally known at the company that like Chris is kind of a, a potential miners attracted person and, and the company protects her and or they were protecting her and they're protecting her. It's only me and Goof on the show. Everyone knew, everyone knew. So, yo, Alec, you look, you're going to have to top to, to fucking tap into this. Me? Yeah. Bro, it, I'm not gonna lie. A minute in, I'm over here like, yo. Bro, I think that's more of a red flag than anything I'm gonna reveal in this video. But, um, you know, those messages happen in like Mr. Beast discords, and yeah, I don't know. It's a mess when like Mr. Beast contestants are being exposed to like minor attracted persons, and the company's protecting them. You know, there's a big emphasis at the company of like. How do you and there's no way with that you and, uh. understanding their psychology and everything and like seeing that that's sort of used in weird ways and you know there's been like parasocial relationships and you know encouraging like almost Yo, children up, simping for these people and you know maybe that's as nefarious as it gets.
Or maybe oh, you need a diamond pickaxe for obsidian, all right? Anyway, here's an old yeah. podcast yeah. clip of Jimmy explaining that he knows that his audience is young. There's some yeah, this is an old there's clip. A, you can say, like, his audience. There's an enchanting table by my house if you want to just take it. Wait, I was going to make my own. Do you have a spare? No, 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 spare. Uh, also, this clip okay, but... shows that, like, he understands the YouTube analytics. Well, if you have a spare, I'll finish it, but... I'll, yeah, I'll, 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 Yo, okay, I could hear. Um, yeah, you see how much hatred? Not monetized. He got hatred for him. No, for real. You gotta have some type of hatred because everybody wants that monetization. Bro, bro specifically said part two coming too. Oh, shit. Little kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I feel probably. like it's a lot like that because you know little kids lie about their age or they're on their, you know, like. But well, yeah, and then I have but, like a fucking massive one for like the forty old range because all the fucking idiots are on their parents' account. Bro, when he said fucking idiots, I went damn. I went like damn. That's not like him. Like I swear. That no, but that's crazy. how that's how he was like before. Like I remember when I first came across him, he used to be making these videos like clowning people on like YouTube intros. Like he like had a series like I think it was like oh top ten or like his like like he had like a fifty part series or some shit like just clowning people's YouTube intros and he used to be talking mad shit. East intentionally. Right? Like he, he took it all. Down. He took it all down because he was like cursing like crazy. It's these children's vulnerable minds for profit using uh, three simple steps, which closely align with the three major types of behavioral learning. Step one is getting the viewer to associate the brand with trust and authority. Mr. Beast videos Ooh, Mr. are real, Beat. and he's a great guy that gives away big rewards. Wait, him. Alex, just hop in, like, so you can just hear. His loyal followers. Oh, I'll show you irrefutable evidence in a minute that his videos are in fact fake. Step two is showing the viewers that when people interact with Mr. Beast in a way that benefits Mr. Beast, when they do what he tells them to do, they win big rewards. You just might as well watch this video. There's some clips here. Go. Here's some money. Have a good day. Some of them feel like I just walk around with a thousand dollars. It's like, oh, thanks for watching my videos. Hit that subscribe button because you might bump into me in real life and it might make you a lot of money. When people are devout mm -hmm. followers of Mr. Beast, they get rewarded. And step three is finally calling on the viewer to act in some way that benefits the brand. Promising big rewards in return. Now it's your turn to do what Mr. Beast tells you and you will win big rewards. But Bro, the police outfit question. got it. I don't, I, <laughs> the first time I saw that, I started laughing. It's giving like content cop. Hey, Beast fan, just sending out my monthly reminder that we are okay. famous or friends or family of a Mr. Beast employee. So young, impressionable viewers are made to believe that Mr. Beast is a trusted authority who can give them big rewards. These young viewers are explicitly shown that dedicated followers or random subscribers like themselves are winning big rewards when they do what Mr. Beast tells them. These young viewers are explicitly told repeatedly that if they subscribe, if they buy products or act in some way that benefits the brand, they will win big rewards. Trust Mr. Beast, watch him help others, contribute to his cause, and one day, he'll help you too. That's the formula. Subscribe for a Lamborghini and you to make me You could be in one of these Subscribe right now, and you might get pictures next week. next week. You might get a chance to be No, but this is a formula like a lot of people have used, though. It's gonna keep going. Just keep it's going. Just going. Just going. Yeah. I mean, we and we, me and Rod talked about this. A lot of YouTubers are like, a lot of YouTubers are like, but like, you know, he's too big, too big. He, he's he's gone. He's gone worse. A lot of YouTubers, you know, they all kind of, you no, know, but they he all kind of hopped on the hate. formula because this was already like a formula that's just been around. You know what I mean? Be like, oh, like even when it came to Minecraft, be like, oh, shit, buy my um, buy my YouTubes, or and then maybe you could play fucking mean, Hunger Games with me. Like it's always been like. A, formula yeah but the thing is it's just he's uh, the, bigger that's why uh, the thing is he doesn't follow up on these he don't follow up mm -hmm. like the I mean, minecraft I, thing like you play you play with you they he get like they, it's easy to get exposed oh yeah you didn't play with me he didn't play with me this like she get covered up it's mr beast mm. all right let's it's a big beast but just keep watching it's seriously we always fly subscribers down they never fly random subscribers down mr beast fakes his videos in ways that are worse than you realize uh I say that because he's been exposed for faking videos before, and the common response is, why does it matter if the videos are fake? They're just meant to be entertainment. A large part of Mr. B's brand is the fact that he doesn't fake videos. I remember when I first started seeing your videos, I was like, this shit's gotta be fake. 
Oh like, yeah. It's a huge so, problem for us now. I actually have to dial back my content sometimes just so people think it's real. Also, if, if what we had to film was scripted, you know, because what we do is not scripted, so you have to plan for a bunch of variables that you can't control, blah, blah. If what we did was scripted, holy shit, this stuff would be easy to pump out. Have you ever faked a video? No. But this train track is CGI, these bus wheels are CGI, this explosion is fake, this shredder is CGI, this car is digitally lifted, this pit is fake. Wait, 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 hold up. But that's low-key, like, gassing it. Like, I felt like people knew that, though. Like, obviously, the explosion CGI, like, it's so... Okay, explosion CGI, but there's other parts that, um, other, like, the, like, drop in the thing, like, you would assume, like, I, well, I always kind of figured he was faking everything, but, you know. I mean, you could like... low-key tell this is fake. CGI, these bus wheels are CGI. All right, the wheels... I mean, I, I guess if you're crazy. But the, the explosion is so obviously. There's CGI. This, this looks is fake. Digitally lifted. This pit is fake. This guy is fake. Uh, this raccoon is a paid actor. Sure, this island costs more than a dollar. This city is not abandoned. These buildings are CGI. But it's not your only way. Yeah, you can literally get an Uber to the airport for $20. That's not a lurker. It's just a guy. This whole room is fake. This contestant is an actor and a secret employee at Mr. Beast. I low-key thought that. Because yeah, we, we, I thought we, everyone we knew that, though. Because he's always there. Dude, this fake well, no, the whole thing, this the whole thing, Mr. B trying to make it seem like, oh, he picked a random mad dude, right? Like random dude, like to do the little challenge, but then everyone loved him. Everyone loved him, so they can, he kept bringing him back. Yeah, but wait, I never understood. Oh yeah, no, no. But I mean, like, damn, the roles are insane. But like, I thought like everyone kind of knew that, like he was just kind of like part of it. I, I know he thought he was a part of it too, like from the get. But like. I was like, I was like, kind of like, I mean, maybe yeah, 50 50. Yeah, but the he's lying. The he lying. Uh, like, yeah, of course. But like, uh, what's it called? But, but this, the, the CG... faking videos, we all kind of know. It get, it get deeper, it get worse. But the CGI fact, doesn't really the matter as much, in my opinion. Looks at the clock. You did it! Yeah! What we did was scripted. Holy shit, this stuff would be easy to pump mm. out. Let's talk about Mac for a second. We will die. Do you understand that? <laughs> I found public records showing that Mac moved from California to Greenville, North Carolina, where Jimmy is located, back in August 2023, two months before he appeared as a contestant. According to a former Mr. Beast employee, Damn, how you get that? Mac bro, beasting, bro, has hatred. <laughs> started working full-time on the editing team at Mr. Beast. Also, he didn't just move into any old house, he moved into a million dollar mansion. Now, I'm not gonna dox him, only some asshole would do something like that. After doxing and bullying the pilot some more, like a f***ing douchebag, turns to Eric and says, how do I fly this thing? And Eric just starts pushing buttons. But I did find pictures of this mansion online, so I fed them into ChatGPT and asked it to create similar images. And this is what it came up with. And it's honestly not that far off. His 6,000 square foot million dollar mansion comes with a movie theater and seven bathrooms. What are you gonna spend the $800,000 on? I mean, my life's changed now. Yeah, I'm sure that $800,000 is really gonna change your life. Mac is a nice car. Tell me, where are we right now? Uh, we're in the place that- uh, Bro, this looks bad. I drove to a few months ago. Uh, Mac, let's, let's cut the shit here. What have you been doing for like the last year? A lot of family stuff. What kind of family stuff? Just mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, playing catch with my dad, you know? For a year? What do you, how do you make money? <laughs> how are you, uh, like, surviving? Basically, like, my main strategy is, is I go to, like, a uh, like grocery store type places. Grocery store type places? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I basically, I basically, I'll do it when I get there. I usually get, like, like a, an amount of food that would take me, like, a week or so, right? With, with what money? The money that I've made. How did you make it? Huh? Bro, what? Yeah, listen, you're getting too caught up in the details. They'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. We will die. Do you understand that? <laughs> During this time lapse on the fourth day of yeah, Seven Days Stranded at Sea, you can that's clearly see I there's no lie. one in the shelter. These are their empty beds. But after a hard cut, magically five people are awake, and two of the boys have bright yellow raincoats that they didn't have when it rained on day two. And after standing the whole night completely soaked, you didn't spend the night soaked, Jimmy. You slept on the production yacht. It's ironic because this is one of the videos where they claim that they don't fake things. But no, we have to be the real channel that doesn't fake things. Uh, in this video, this wink was added in post. In fact, 58 was actually on the far opposite side of the room from 42, and he just didn't hear him. This whole revenge storyline was added in post. Multiple shots show how timers are edited in post. I kind of figured some of this Timers are edited, in post. are edited in post. They also manipulated contestants' audio in post. So we got 15 minutes. But in general, if anything happens last second, it's fake. Or if you can hear someone's voice but can't see their mouth, the audio could easily be added in post. I literally think I'm gonna kill you. And yes, this lie detector video was also fake. Have you ever faked a video? I feel like most no. of those are though. Oh. 
It's still real to me, damn it! Okay, so Mr. Beast fabricates some contestant dialogue and timers and movements and storylines and uses a bunch of shitty CGI, but who really cares? I mean, the videos are just for entertainment only, right? I mean, it's not like he's ever rigged the results of a challenge. That would be impossible because he films with hundreds of random subscribers, right? Wrong. Let's look at this video. Not only were the results of this video completely scripted, but the content. Bro, you know the funny thing about this video? Yeah. About this video, I told I told Raph I heard there was heat about um, like him picking too many boys to win. And he, I said Raph, uh, PP's gonna a girl's gonna win. The girls are gonna win. Oh, um, I the remember girls this won. video, and you, I do remember like you mentioned something like that. I feel like I recall. Yeah. Look, and then so in this video. People had jobs. Oh, that contestant had to get out for her job? I guess you forgot she's your hiring manager. I actually recognize a lot of people in this video, including Jimmy's own girlfriend. So yeah, the manager. Wait. I actually recognize a lot of people in this video. Nah. Like, Wait, nah. Own girlfriend. So yeah, the random subscribers you see in challenges are actually never random. They're almost always local to Mr. Beast and oftentimes friends and family of Mr. Beast employees or just the employees themselves. And when they do pull someone from outside of North Carolina, it's usually somebody who's in the industry, who's camera trained, who has built a following. Hey, anyone I'm friends with watching that wants 10 grand? They are never <laughs> random subscribers. Damn. If you subscribe, you will not win a million dollars. And what's even worse is that the results of this video were completely scripted. According to a former Mr. Beast employee, it would have been a PR problem if the boys had won by a lot. And because so many of the female contestants were Mr. Beast employees who got out immediately, production stepped in to actually make the results of the challenge closer. Uh, you can actually see some of this happen on camera, like when Jimmy pays one of the boys. Well, yeah, there's one laser thing leave, that the girl won, when I, and I called it too because he was getting heat again for the girl thing. I remember watching it. I said, Rap, I told you, I told you. A PR problem. I'm dead. Yeah, but he was getting heat for uh, it. It doesn't make the same offer to the girls. The boys were blowing you out of the water. I paid the one guy who knew how to solve them to leave. Now, if you don't win, that was all for nothing. At another point, he gives the girls a camera drone so they would have been able to see how many boys were left. I do remember he was working on this one. Seeing how much they're willing to help them on camera, I'm willing to believe that they did, in fact, help them off camera. You know, apparently, at the end, they were only monitoring the boys to see if they stepped on the red line and not the girls so that the girls would win the challenge. And to be clear, obviously the girls had an unfair start with having so many Mr. Beast employees get out immediately. You know, I think they all did deserve $5,000 for that, but also the boys should deserve a fair chance at winning, I think. I think that's mm -hmm. the expectation when you run a game show. But hey, that was a while ago, so I'm just glad they're not doing another rigged boys versus girls video. <laughs> so knowing that Mr. Beast likes the results to be close and that offstage producers can sort of influence how a challenge progresses, I want to show one more example. This is a real-time video, meaning that time elapses the same in the video as it does in real life. Now, immediately, the intro is sped up, and the timer is clearly added in post, and he clearly touches the laser here, but whatever. Let's assume that it's all real-time. When he reaches the bottom Wait. floor, he has to turn these water valves. Now, you can tell that these valves aren't actually connected to anything because the water on the floor touches the laser here, but whatever. Damn. Let's assume that it's all real time. When he reaches the bottom floor, he has to turn. I can't lie, that's crazy valve. work right there. You can tell right that there. these valves aren't actually connected to anything because the water flows out in an instant, and it happens when he's not even touching the valve. The contestant also goes back to the first valve, unaware that anything had happened, and he's still able to spin it. So the valve seems to spin freely and isn't actually connected to the flow of water. So you could assume that producers might be off camera with remote switches to trigger the flow of water. And assuming they've tested this, the producers might know how long it takes for the water to clear out of the room. So they could sort of decide on the fly how many turns of the valve it takes or just when to trigger the water in general to make the results close. And in this video, spoiler alert, the contestant wins the money. So rigging the challenge could be seen as a good thing, but there are many examples of contestants losing. And in traditional media, this kind of rigging is actually completely illegal. We always have the same person tied. I used to watch a lot of Survivor and Big so Brother. That we know I used they to watch tie them at the exact same tension. I mean, Survivor was a pretty good inches. show. And then we have a standards and practices person. And if you don't know what that is, on any kind of a game show where there is a prize, you have to have somebody that ensures that it's fair. They are out there essentially to make sure that we don't do something that would favor 
one player or one tribe. I paid the one guy who knew how to solve them to leave. In my mind, I'm thinking it's a fair game, mm -hmm. but it's not. If they were having problems finding people, they can see kind of yeah, what they're I don't know this, but we actually knew her. Oh, that's a... Oh, fuck. Uh, Rosanna something? She used to make like yeah. the, the baking videos on YouTube back in the day. Yeah, but like, I only know a little bit about her, but I didn't really watch her. So. Oh, I didn't know she was like trying to expose them for that. That's crazy. And they came to my area many times, and I was in the smallest cupboard. <laughs> they had like big ones, medium ones, and small ones. I contorted yeah, this little, little four foot ten, ten, ten body into the tonight. smallest space, and I was in there for hours. <laughs> and they didn't even open the door because they were like, a person can't even fit in there. So they went in there oh and they God. opened all the cabinets, and my heart was like, oh, they're going to find me, they're going to find me. And then I could hear them saying, like, she's not here. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, she's not here. <laughs> the other thing that they said is absolutely no climbing in the air vents or the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And they said it's because they do all their wiring in mm -hmm. the ceiling. So I am up here. Okay, I feel good about this spot. If it was held accountable, especially because this was a YouTube original production, mm. Zach would have been eliminated for cheating. He broke the rules and guarantee you if i claimed if i climbed in the ceiling mr beast would eliminate me he was in the ceiling <laughs> also i think some oh, wait. me he that's loki worth reading also i think some bro i thought i fucking eliminate me he was in the ceiling creator games 2 and 3 trivia hide and seek had nothing to do with the charity the winners of the competition would receive a prize money uh, under the vague condition that they give the money to their fans hey my cousin is a fan of the video zach king made two highly viewed monetized videos with the prize money both for the winners of Creator games one and two the video sisters in that game or gives up mr beast does not care about fairness in his competitions he only cares about making the best video possible the trivia tournament also had the multiple mistakes no one seemed to know this Possible, I'll just want to go ahead and correct. But overall, ensured fairness and challenges like this is not difficult, but Mr. Beat stinks It makes the videos worse, so he doesn't do it. Ah, also, I think some of the I didn't read it, what happened? Ways have been fake. Uh, uh, but I'll get just I never read it. So, now that I've explained some of the ways that Mr. Beast lies to build trust with his audience, I want to go on to explain how he exploits that trust for profit through running illegal lotteries, selling fake signatures, giving children diabetes, and more. <laughs> I think signatures was bad. Call to action is simply Wait, when you tell the viewer I remember that signing thing. Saying, Wait, it was fake? Call to action. Early um, it wasn't earlier, fake, so they had like, like, and you'll see, you'll see in the video. Call to action, and he adds positive or negative reinforcement to it. Now, as adults, we can recognize that subscribe for a cookie is a joke. Uh, it's not a real offer, but again, Mr. Beast's audience is primarily children who may have authorities in their life that actually use sweet treats or video game detentions as forms of reinforcement, and you aren't born understanding sarcasm. Whatever the reason, these reinforced call to actions are more effective than just saying subscribe. Oh, but there's an even much better version. The call to action giveaway. If you guys want to win a brand new PS5, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. I can't believe people are still doing fucking giveaways. Holy <laughs> shit, it's so annoying. I watched this video. I watched this video. PewDiePie's always been real. I can't lie. People are still like buying subs for this shit. So over the next seven days, I'm gonna be the old old heads are more are better. A free Samsung Galaxy S24. Because this shit wasn't like this. It was just legit. All you have to do to enter to win one of these phones is subscribe. It's a scam. Holy shit. I literally spent over a million dollars on these phones. And we literally found him one minute before Zach. I spent over a million dollars on these phones. All, all you have to do to enter is hit that subscribe button. Samsung, I just want you to love me. So yeah, that's what a call to action giveaway is. At best, they are a way to buy subscribers, but much of the time they are legitimate scams. Either a YouTuber doesn't actually give away a prize, or in the case of these live streams, they are illegal lotteries where the only way to win a prize is by making a purchase. And obviously I'm not a lawyer, so I'm just gonna show you the law and then show you irrefutable evidence of what's being done and you can make your own conclusions. The FTC defines a lottery as containing three elements, a valuable prize, mm -hmm. random chance, and consideration, which can be time or effort, but in most cases is just payment. 
To successfully run a contest or a sweepstakes, you must eliminate one of these factors. A contest, for example, eliminates chance, and a sweepstakes eliminates consideration. In determining if any Mr. Beast giveaways have been illegal lotteries, we need to identify right, the prize, right. which is distributed through random I chance will. and cannot be won without spending money. On August 2nd, 2020, Mr. Beast livestreamed him and his friends signing limited edition shirts celebrating this. 40 million subscribers. Uh, and here are just no, some of the too. clips from that stream. For, for those of you who are just joining, if you buy one of well, our limited saying, edition Mr. Um, like, 40 mil special shirts, they, they might, the, Carl and Chandler just are like grunts. They don't even be doing them, they're just grunts. Shirt, and some of them will get random prizes like this. In 10 minutes, right? Because we got to give him time yeah, to, to like do They don't even be saying that. Like him and orders, Mr. Beast and the guy on the right, they were minutes, talking. Like Chandler always just be a grunt. Minutes, be grunting. Same thing again. We're going to put $1,000 in a random order. Two minutes, newest order gets two thousand dollars good luck everybody so this was a six hour live stream uh they took it down off youtube but five hours of it are still up on their facebook page uh, and during those five hours i counted 46 illegal lotteries these lotteries are also run poorly multiple times they would say something like buy in the next five minutes for a chance to win and then seven minutes five later, hours rewatching the stream is a wild word in five it's minutes, research. we're going to do the same research thing again. No we're going to put $1,000 in a random Not order. Hey, Daryl, don't we owe someone $1,000? Amen, but these high videos are hard to come yeah. by these so, days. So. All right, so the newest order. In 30 seconds, we are going to put $1,000. You know how much love, he, love and hate he put into this video? Okay. Oh. Put care into this video. I love this video. Giveaway 30 seconds later, Damn. like Jimmy said. Uh, this is just one very shady giveaway. Uh, they just go on to talk about how Steven made a profit. Steven's a handsome man. Damn, Carl's been around the, the group for that long. Crazy. I counted 13 of these extra shady lotteries where they did not give the prize in the original time frame that they said. Okay, so we're going to put two iPhones in this pinata and we're going to give it to someone who orders a shirt in three minutes? Five minutes. Buy a limited edition shirt or hoodie. I always thought Mr. Beast kind of look weird. He just looks like a weird guy. Have we done iPhones yet? Yeah. Oh, we did one. Oh, wait. Hey, yeah. Daryl, first action. Before we do that, we never picked the pinata. So these clearly fit the definition of an illegal lottery. These clips are also not out of context. No one ever said no purchase necessary. There's nothing in the description or on the website. At one point, Mr. Beast is informed that they ran out of PlayStations and he says, are we trying to not sell merch? Uh, our city is sold out of PlayStations. We don't have any. We have to give away. <laughs> are we trying to not sell merch? So he clearly knows that they're making more money by running these illegal lotteries. Another shady thing he did was constantly suggest that they're doing too many giveaways to make a profit. My guy over there doing the numbers is like, stop, stop please. Like, you do realize every time you give away an Xbox at $1,000, you don't make money. I'm like, oh, I know we're not going to make money. What are we doing, guys? We're going to check after this stream and it's going to be like, like, oh no. what a waste. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're gonna break neutral. When I mean, there is just no way they were ever even close to losing money on this stream. I don't know who this is, but you just got a pair of AirPods. Oh my gosh, we're not making money. Guys, we need to stop giving everyone something. We've just like, lost like seven. Almost grand. everything, almost everything that someone's bought, we put something in their package. I'm not gonna make so money. You... In five hours, they gave away about $50,000 worth of stuff uh, and sold over 50,000 t-shirts. Selling these t-shirts at $42 each, profit margin would be about $22. But even Damn. if they were making like $1 per shirt, they would still be fine. Uh, also, by my estimates, only one in every 1,600 orders actually won a prize. And I guarantee he has real-time analytics on his laptop. He knows they make crazy. more money every time he says, Oh my God, guys, we're giving away so much stuff. We're not even going to make a profit. Please, don't you want me to make a profit? That's why he keeps saying it. Also, they just don't show how winners are picked. So it's probably not actually random. You know, humans have biases. Imagine Jimmy tells the guy off camera, hey, pick a name right now. And he sees two names. One is easy to pronounce, one is not. This is why lotteries are heavily regulated to ensure fairness. Also, obviously you have to be 18 to play the lottery. It's gambling. Mr. Beast isn't True. just promoting gambling to children here. He's running the casino. <laughs> this isn't even close oh, to wait, so that's last telling. <laughs> Four months later, Mr. Beast signed shirts again, but this time it was a 24 hour live stream with way more illegal lotteries. And by the way, Damn. the rest of these streams were taken down shortly after upload. So all I have is some old clips and Reddit threads talking about them. Right, now this stream did say, we are doing a ton of giveaways, no purchase necessary in the description. Uh, but to be eligible to win most prizes, you had to make a purchase. Oh, yes. Would you guys prefer 
Would you prefer that we throw money in random orders or that we throw items in random orders? Yeah. Somebody Thank screamed in chat, I want to switch. Hey. Buy a shirt. In 30 minutes, we are giving away my car to someone that buys merch. Which each giveaway is its own independent event. You can't give one prize to someone who buys something and a different prize to someone in chat. The prize where you have to buy something is still an illegal lottery, which obviously Mr. Beast knows this, but you know, he's a, he's a poker player. He likes a little bluffery, a little plausible deniability, you know, pretending to be ignorant of the law. You know, YouTube's a little different than this. Um, yeah. Since YouTube, I can just do stuff like that. I can just be like, you know what? Talking Pull up a database of 100 people that bought chocolate bars and pick 100 random ones. Got it. I think I can do that over here. I don't know. So mm -hmm. I don't want to say anything. And then someone be like, yeah, actually, that's illegal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I could not find any way to enter the big Tesla giveaway without spending at least $42. And we're giving away Tesla to someone random who bought stuff. They also gave away 24 tickets, which gave you the opportunity to be in a video. Again, most of these tickets, you had to make a purchase to win. One random person that buys in what time frame? 10 minutes. We're gonna just put this in someone's order that buys something. And okay. we're gonna have 24 yeah. people. We're gonna put them in 24 different circles. Million dollars on the line. Have some fun. You know what I'm saying? Also, this video. Yeah, when you kind when he pulls up these clips like no this, it really like damn. Video. Like it kind of all is adding it, up. It like is it's adding it really up. like together damn. all together. It does like if it was all separate, blah blah blah. You don't notice it, but you when he's putting it all together like this, it's crazy. He's showing all the evidence. You really see it. Like he a villain. I always said he was a villain. Bro, bro is a gambler. <laughs> I can't lie. He even admits that he has a gambling problem. Million dollars. Unless it ended up being 100 people in a circle competing for $500,000, but that's a smaller prize and much worse odds. So, like, did they just pocket the money or what? Hey, it's the pilot guy. Woo! Let's get it! Wait, he's about to be the first one out? That's unlike him. And though you got out first, I still have a prize for you. Just wait here. Oh, first person out gets a car, and it just happened to be your friend Mac. Another thing that just annoys me is Jim. Wait, was that before Mac was first introduced? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, wait, hold on. I didn't even know. I didn't even know, it. I didn't oh even my know God, he was. Because I remember yeah. that video. Wow. Says during these live streams. Wow. He's just doing this for fun because he loves giving things away. Oh, and I just like giving away stuff. It's kind of funny. Imagine you just lost a bunch of money at the casino. And the owner comes out and he says, guys, the reason I do all this, I just love giving away money. Uh, also, you're seven years old in that example. It's insane that he can flip these massively profitable illegal lotteries targeted towards children as a, an act of generosity. So I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to go place an order at shopmrbeast.com. Anyone watching any of the lives? And um, we're gonna throw iPhones in some of them. And again, there are very few videos of this live stream on the internet. I think Mr. Beast probably copyright stripes re-uploads. But almost any clip you do find will have some new violation of internet gambling or sweepstakes laws. Well, I, it was, I thought it was him. I was like, keep going. <laughs> Wait, really? Let's go. Wait, it's literally like, is this like initial? Who is it? My cousin. <laughs> Really? Actually, that's illegal. Some of the common complaints we see in threads about this live stream are that they only signed large t-shirts. So when they selected an order to give a prize, it was apparently always a large or extra large t-shirt. Uh, they kept saying things like buy in the next 15 minutes for a chance to win and then not honoring it. Multiple people claiming that their name was read to win a prize and they never received it. This person is still tweeting about it to this day. Now there's a lot Damn. more people complaining. Yeah, about I don't know how true that is. But me and Rat, reading all this, me and Rat was like, "That's crazy." I spent money I honestly didn't have for five shirts at different times during the live when they said things like "Buy now and you will get prize or money." And I received two orders and nothing but shirt, both with MB and one with a heart and one with a smiley. I was hoping for at least a couple things for Christmas for my family. Now this commenter also goes on to explain that she's disabled, has PTSD. Lotteries and scams specifically target vulnerable populations like that. I'm disappointed. My son bought a signed shirt and was so excited. He watched the live stream and saw that people who bought would receive $100. He was excited to win something and be a part of his favorite streamer, Mr. Beast. When the shirt arrived, he was grinning from ear to ear. When he realized that there was no hundred dollars, he was visibly disappointed. He said nothing other than, I guess he meant everyone except me. He loves his shirt, but I'm really upset seeing him hurt. 
And Damn. obviously people can lie on the internet, but a lot of people are independently claiming the same things. Like that at the end of the live stream, they said they were putting $100 in every order. Now, my speculation is that they put $100 in every order that came across the table that they signed, but I'd be interested to see how they worded that. If the video of this live stream ever resurfaces, I, I think a lot of these claims will be proven true, uh, which Mr. Beast definitely has this stream saved. He saves all his footage. Uh, so I'll ask you, Jimmy, will you publish this to prove your innocence? Also using archive.org, we can <laughs> see what won't. the website looked like on the day of the stream. And while there's no mention of any sweepstakes whatsoever, uh, it does say this limited tea signed by Mr. Beast and crew. Yo, this uh, looks bad for Jimmy though. Look real a bad. member of the Mr. Beast crew. And it doesn't say anywhere that other members will sign MB, deceiving people into believing. Oh yeah, that's bad. Beast. Yeah. So here's a clip of Tyler forging, or not, maybe not forging, using Mr. Beast's signature. So Tyler signs oh, that's bad. MB, which is Mr. Beast's signature. Then he covers it, signs his own initials, TC, smirks, looks around, and then quickly slides the shirt away. Could you make it any more obvious? You know, you don't accidentally have someone else's signature as bro muscle memory. Bro spent hours, Man, hours to just catch that, bro. Crazy. Lawyer, bro. I think this is fraud. Maybe they could say it's the brand's signature. Even though it's clearly implied that this is Jimmy's signature, which was established during the last live stream. Cool. MB, Mr. Beast. So this is Mr. Beast's signature. No way, this one was signed by Mr. Beast. It's just got the MB, but it, that means it's signed by Mr. Beast. That's obviously his, Mr. Beast. This is so cool. That's obviously his, Mr. Beast. You know, some people bought these shirts as collector's items or even investments, and this puts into question the authenticity of all Mr. Beast signed merch, which otherwise could have been very valuable one day. This was clearly muscle memory, and judging by his body language, he knew he exposed this. Even Tariq notices Tyler slip up and immediately looks into the camera, looks guilty, and then readjusts his body and rubs his hands together. Also, Mr. Beast said during the live stream that this is the last time he'd ever sign anything, and that was just a lie. Illegal lotteries targeted towards children and selling fake signatures. I mean, I can't lie, that is bad. Any other YouTuber was caught doing this. I mean, there's proof, oh, there's, there's like that I have proof for it too. It's bad. No, that's bad. Videos as a gambler. Who would have thought? <laughs> By this point, you can't Mr. even Mr. argue that one. You can't argue that. <laughs> you can't. Giveaways. Uh, I mean, obviously, they're illegal, but more importantly, they're not as profitable as they could be. Look at it like this there are two value propositions at play here the perceived value of the product and the perceived value of the chance to win a prize. So for something like these $42 t-shirts, if the viewer values the chance to be in a video at $10, they need to value the t-shirt at an additional $32 to make the purchase. Mm -hmm. So the more expensive the product, the less effective the lottery is. You want to get the product as close to zero dollars as possible I'll check in a second, people buddy. are just paying for the perceived value of the lottery that's what's most profitable because humans can't accurately comprehend the difference between one in a million odds versus one in a billion odds they both kind of just compute as i have a small chance to win uh, which mr beast mm. is well aware of this flaw in human mental arithmetic at past a certain point the average human is like large sum of money click and like right. larger sum of money doesn't really impact the viewing experience. So also the larger your audience is, the more profitable a lottery will be. Anyway, Mr. Beast wanted the cheapest product possible to use for these CTA giveaways. Basically a piece of paper, but you obviously couldn't sell a piece of paper without getting backlash. So in January 2021, three months after the last shirt signing stream, Mr. Beast did a live stream where for only $10, viewers could send a picture to the moon. Wait, JPEGs that are going to the moon? And of course he did more illegal lotteries. Uh, just to keep things fun and interesting, I guys are putting a photo on the moon. It's an interesting enough. Someone who puts a photo on the moon, or or if you buy the bundle, whatever, in the next 30 minutes, we'll just fly you down to be in a video. Three years later, the spaceship finally launched, carrying beautiful pictures of deceased loved ones to the moon where they would be immortalized. It fucking exploded. So obviously Mr. Beast refunded everyone, right? Right? Is it Mr. Beast's fault that the rocket exploded? Okay. No. Is it his fault that he advertised it as for $10, I will put your photo on the moon? For $10, I'll put whatever picture you want on the moon. When he couldn't guarantee that? Yes, of course. October 16th, 2021, same thing. 
buy this shirt to be in a video. Shopify dashboard. We just have like a, a random number generator and then like we just put the na number, like if there's a thousand orders, we just put it, picks the number between one and thousand, and then my people give me the name. So the first person that we're inviting to be in our squid game, if you want to enter, click the link in the description, buy the shirt or hoodie, is Alonzo Diaz. Forgot to mention the stream. So oh, this is an moments. actual hundred dollar bill. <laughs> Wait, really? Like, they actually sent a hundred dollar bill. Wait, what does what? it say? Oh, now we have to read the message. You and your crew are an inspiration to our young ones. He wanted to send you a hundred dollars. Uh, everyone click the link, or the view product thing in the bottom left. Um, what it, We're going to open three packages, and whatever is in those three packages, we're going to give someone random that buys. Mr. Beast is the American dream. Now I'm gonna get to what, in my opinion, is the most unethical CTA giveaway that Mr. Beast has done. But before I do that, I really wanna drive home the point that the closer a sweepstakes is to an illegal lottery, the more money it makes. Because you know, every customer is supposed to be informed that they can enter easily for free and that making a purchase does not increase their chances of winning. Like you're supposed to say no purchase necessary in all of your promotional material, which Mr. Beast does not do. This legal gray area only leads to people getting scammed, especially the elderly and children uh, who are also being introduced to gambling. The only people who benefit off of sweepstakes are influencers and scammers. Remember Wizza, a sweepstakes company that got exposed as a total scam and shut down? Even Omaze, the charity sweepstakes company, got exposed as a scam and had to shut down in the US. Or back in the day, there was Mystery Brand. You remember Mystery Brand? Oh so God, Mystery Brand that. is a website where you purchase different boxes with chances of winning things. Take, for example, this women's that. Christmas box. It costs $15 to open, and you can win the most expensive Los Angeles realty. But you can't even click it, okay? It doesn't even give you more information, but apparently it's worth $250 million. I love that you can't click it. Like they're just like, trust us. There's a $250 million house with your name on it. All the way down to Icicle, site balance. I'm willing to bet that this is probably what 99% of the people are getting. Hey, at least Mr. Beast never wanted to work with this obvious scam. I mean, at least Mr. Beast's manager never went on some podcast and talked about how Mr. Beast really wanted to work with this company. No, oh, what's this? Is there anything you've had to say no to? Um. Yeah, tons. Uh, yeah, so a uh, good example. So it was about three years or two and a half years ago when I started working with Jimmy, what was becoming really popular were these like mystery loot crate, like internet mm -hmm. sites where you, it's basically like CSGO skins, but you'd go on and be like, here's the Supreme box and you'd pay $50 oh, for it. And remember it was yeah, like- Yeah, didn't Rice Rice Gum did uh, yeah, quite a few Paul. people. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they got a lot of hate for that. Right. Jimmy was, um, he wanted to work with that company when he heard about it, because it was a lot of money and we wanted to give that money away in a video. And I, I had to talk him back on it. I was like, listen, we're not, promoting gambling, I think people are gonna see this negatively. So it's yeah. a long conversation that him and I had to have, which eventually we passed on the deal, and then Jake, Paul, you, and Rice Gun ended up doing that deal and got a lot of hate for it. Uh, Jimmy, why is your manager saying that you wanted to promote this obvious scam to your young, impressionable audience? Mr. Beast launched Feastables, his new chocolate brand, back in January 2022. I want to tell you guys about my Damn, new snack company, Feastables. Damn, it's been two years since you that. They're made with only five ingredients, but still taste amazing. And I'm kicking off Feastables with something I've always wanted to do. Ten random bars are going to have a mystery ticket inside of them, and if you get this mystery ticket, we will fly you out to compete for a chocolate factory in one of our videos. And on top of that, Chandler, we're giving away over a million dollars in other prizes to random people that buy the bars. Dude, I need to buy these. It's interesting to look back at this because a large part of Feastables marketing campaign was the fact that it's a better for you brand, that it's healthier for you than Hershey's. Less sugar, only four ingredients, all organic. I wanted to just make a better for you snack brand because I think a lot of the stuff out there is just terrible for you. Because obviously so much obesity and disease comes from the stuff we eat. Like Hershey's, for example, there's 10 ingredients, super processed. Our, our Fusils bars are five ingredients and just all the ingredients are way higher quality. And it's infinitely better than the other options out there. I got all the Feastable chocolates. That's oh yeah, Eddie. Rank oh. One to six. Yeah. I'm going to be completely honest. Bro, it's, this whole little clip, he was getting hate for this when this happened because he was being mad weird, like real I weird. I remember this. I remember this clip. It's totally not biased because if it sells more, I make more money. I'm going to be honest. And I hope Jimmy is sitting next to me and not getting his feelings hurt. <laughs> Compare it to Hershey's. It's our crunch bar. Okay. This is the one you believe in. I'm not going to lie. This 
when it was this, it was ass. Now, like, I've tried it recently, and it's a little better. But it's still, like, whatever. It's Yeah, he, if you try it recently, the new thing way more unhealthy. Like, uh, worse yeah, than you could tell it. I Maybe, I think these were actually, like, healthier for you, probably. But just with shit. Even healthier, they're just a little bit, like, better than Hershey. But, like, the other one's way worse now, apparently. Mm. I don't you like can that. taste it. It's not crazy, dude. No? no? You don't like Crunch Bars? I do like crunch bars, but... Damn. Again, it's too sweet. He's the honest review. He's more oh like, honest God, review. Oh, my God. This shit is good to me. Wait, we supposed to be wrecking them. I rated it the first one. So we going completely off of... Oh, well, we going completely off of... We're in too deep. I rate this a 10 out of 10. I give this an 11 out of 10. Keep in mind, only five Yeah, I can't lie. He would be seen. Infinitely healthier for you than the normal thing out there. Also my favorite so far. Okay, here's the thing. I didn't realize you were a dark chocolate guy. I'm not a super dark chocolate guy. I do love dark chocolate. I get it so... 7.8 out of 10. Okay, I'm starting to understand this, yeah, man. Okay, okay. Item. I'm starting to so, figure this man out. You're going to like this one, right? You like salt? You, I, I love salt. Sea salt guys. So, I just, I'm going to get rid of these. I love salt. No, you, I want the no, chocolate. You no, know, you just don't, you, trust me. You you this like, you're a dark room? chocolate kind of guy. Yes. Okay. If, I, I can read the room. The room is red. Now in 2024, Wait, Mr. Beast changed the... Read the room. The room is red. That's a whole picture there. Dang, I can't lie, bro. Now I do in remember that clip. Mr. It was so bad. The formula again to where it has mostly the same ingredients as Hershey's. Look at the calories. More sugar and more calories. Of one bar. Wait, 60 grams of what? Probably like sugar. And this initial Damn, ad for Feastables where he calls it healthy is still getting millions of views a month. Also, I don't think you should ever advertise it as over a million dollars in prizes when more than a third of those prizes are just coupons for more Mr. Beast products, forcing you to spend more money if you actually want to redeem them. Ooh, a $5 coupon for Beast Burger. Now a single combo only costs $20. Bob's mm -hmm. Burgers Palace or fucking Five Guys. If this shit can be I successful, can't lie. Beast Burgers fucking wasn't Five bad, Guys. Though. Remember when we went to Beast Burgers? Wasn't it very good? I remember I, I remember I said it was okay. Like, Okay, like it wasn't good, it wasn't bad, it's it was so okay. Good. Who cares? It's called yeah. Five and Guys. Also, what kind of and also, name Paul, is that? it doesn't matter. The whole thing, the burgers, in, he was lazy with it. He made it like a ghost chain thing. Like, he was lazy with that whole entire oh, thing. Yeah, like, ghost chain, well, I thought it was really different at the time. I never thought ghost chain, the idea was good. Like, uh, burgers are good. Branding matters. Well, it was never gonna last. <laughs> Ooh, maybe you should have spent a little less time on this uh, beautiful logo and more time on making the food actually. Edible. Brother, no, well, when it was like this, it it was trash. But when they opened the one in American Dream, it was pretty good. Because this is like restaurant by restaurant. You know what I mean? Yeah, ghost What's chain. That? Yeah, when it was the ghost chain thing, it was kind of... It What's was that, bad. brother? Also, be for real, dude. Uh, Five Guys has a nice, clean, appealing aesthetic. You know, the name suggests humble beginnings. This is like a eight-year-old sloppy cotton candy piss burger. It literally looks like a piss burger. <laughs> also, this digital wheel is not remotely representative of your actual odds. Mark Rover has talked about this common deceptive casino tactic before. You recall from the carnival scam video, the most lucrative games for the carnival owner are those where people overestimate their chances of winning. That is exactly what happens in this game, thinking you were so close to getting a jackpot, when in reality, you weren't close at all. In gambling psychology, this is known as the near miss effect, and people will spend much more money to try and win because they think they can just do it on the next one. So I am absolutely pigging out on feastables, um, and I'm trying to do this. Mr. Beast is teaching us gambling. Minus points because there's no cool music. Anyway, uh, let's gamble. Also, these tickets, one of them just so happened to go to a YouTuber with 700,000 subscribers at the time. Just pure chance. This was just taped. It was taped. <gasps> no freaking way. So it is like really like total chance, obviously. Like you're one of like hundreds of thousands of names. Talk to Jimmy Bell. What do you got to say to Jimmy, say thank to you for picking us. No, he didn't. It was random. I know. Uh, was it though? Was it random? Definitely so this not. guy went on to win the chocolate factory and extremely unlikely things do happen, but uh, can we see how the winners were chosen maybe? Because knowing how important it is to Jimmy that every video has entertaining contestants through the whole video, it's a little suspicious. I, 
I'll just say, in my opinion, as somebody who worked for Mr. Beast, I don't think this large YouTuber want to take it purely by chance. Also, I know that producers... Does he have proof that he worked for him, though? No, I don't know. I didn't... I didn't... Don't think so. I don't know. ...are sort of able to pull strings behind the scenes to give some contestants better chances. Maybe, maybe that's his reason for eating And he runs these sweepstakes the to like bribe children with gambling Probably. to consume more sugar. Like, this is far worse than a lottery ticket because a lottery ticket doesn't give you diabetes and only pay out your is rich and out? famous friends. Like, Mr. Beast is bringing hundreds of thousands, nah, them if not millions, and getting the of ticket is kinda, new people that was to weird. the candy aisle, whether he wants to admit it or not. People are just walking to the chocolate aisle, and instead of buying Hershey's, buying Feastables. Like, you, people who never would have bought chocolate in Walmart are walking mm. to the chocolate aisle specifically to buy Feastables. You're creating so, a new market. Exactly. Yeah. I'm bringing new customers yeah. to the aisle. Okay, I guess he does want to admit it. Uh, you know, kind of a weird flex, not something I would brag about, Jimmy. Also, maybe I should mention technically I'm a certified nutritionist, which really just means I paid $1,200 for a course and then failed to launch a health food company. But I know that poor diet and especially excessive sugar consumption is the number one cause of death and health problems I mean, in America, including some of the health problems that Mr. Beast claims to care so much about. Blindness, deafness, loss of limbs. Mr. Beast also just launched a combo with Zaxby's, which if you get a soda, it's over 2,000 calories for one meal. Because obviously so much obesity and disease comes from this. Actually, can't wait for The only thing the real in this video is the one. new Mr. Beast box at Zaxby's. I'm pretty sure this would be illegal in Europe. Oh, Zaxby's? This is like more calories in one meal than the average 10 year old Damn, is supposed to consume on a daily okay. basis. Tell me how I'm killing little kids. Right. New research finds childhood obesity rates are getting worse. The number one killer in America is obesity. The number of deaths in overweight people surpass alcohol and smoking altogether. For 30 days straight, we are going to be giving away $10,000 to a lucky customer who scans the QR code on the back of any new Feastable bar. It's just disappointing to see somebody pretend to care about the health epidemic in the U.S. only when it's profitable for them. I know That's this point isn't going to resonate with a lot of people because of how normalized high calorie and high sugar diets are in America. But like bribing children to get into the habit of Ooh, consuming excessive amounts of sugar, like $10,000 a day as a giveaway is very deliberate because it's trying to create repeat customers that just buy out of habit. Like doing this, especially when you clearly understand how much of a health risk it is to these kids. Because obviously so much obesity and disease comes from the stuff we eat. It, it's honestly just f***ing evil to me. And I pushed back against this a lot while I worked at the company. For Halloween this year, Feastables is planning on putting a million dollars in a chocolate bar. And they wanted to do a bunch of like scummy marketing and shit. My manager literally said at one point that they wanted to associate buying a Feastables with your dream coming true. So they're pitching ideas like, you know, buy a Feastables, win 10K, uh, buy a Feastables out of a vending machine and the vending machine just starts spitting out money buy a Feastables and it has a ticket to Disney World, whatever, right? And I don't wanna put a lot of like hearsay into this video. You should just believe the receipts that I'm showing you and not what I'm saying. But I swear to God, I said to somebody at the company, I feel like Feastables is 70% a chocolate company and 30% a lottery targeted, targeting children. And this higher up mm. person I, Mr. Beast, said it was probably closer to the other way around and was laughing about it. Like 70% a lottery, 30% of chocolate company. Everyone knows it's just the call to actions and call so to action like giveaways, especially that drive sales. Like sales. As soon as they stop, it's hard for large bargain retailers to sell this shit for 70% off. That's why they push them so hard. Once they stop the diabetes lottery, no one buys. Also, this is the website right now. That's Mr. True. Beast wants you to join the crew. Just so weird and scummy to me. I believe all the Feastables giveaways do weird and scummy to me. I believe all the Feastables giveaways do have official rules and no purchase necessary clauses somewhere, but it's very difficult to find them. In traditional media, if you advertise a sweepstakes like in a commercial, you have to say in the promotional material itself, no purchase necessary. Somehow Mr. Beast gets away with not saying no purchase necessary in any of his promotional materials, not the videos, the descriptions, pinned comments, nothing. To celebrate our launch of milk chocolate and sea salt, we went out, we bought 10 Teslas, loads of cash, and all these prizes you see on the screen. And prizes aside, unlike Hershey's, these bars only have four to five ingredients and just genuinely taste good. Go to feastwolves.com right now and order some chocolate. Five ingredients.
These healthy alternatives are so good. Really and just genuinely time. taste good. Go to feastwolves.com right now and order some chocolate. Only problem is the chocolate river is deteriorating. All the cake. The only place you'll find no purchase necessary is either on the Feastables Twitter account because it's a rule of the platform and even still they try to push it. No perch neck or hidden deep in the Feastables Damn, website under extra. a FAQ. And to enter for free, you have to mail in separate three inch by five inch hand addressed written index cards up to 10 a day. Do you think kids are gonna do that shit or just beg their parents when they're at Walmart for the YouTuber diabetes lottery ticket? How is this legal? How do you mail something without making a purchase? Cards, envelopes, stamps. The free entry method can cost more than the chocolate bar itself. Also going back to sweepstakes law for a second, payment isn't the only form of consideration. Consideration can also be time or effort that directly benefits Mr. Beast in some way. Like, I don't know, if he told his fans to clean up and organize his Feastables displays in Walmart for a chance to win $5,000. Shelfie cleanup and $5,000 drawing? They thought this was going to be a monthly thing, uh, but it got a lot of controversy, obviously. How can I successfully clean up the shelves? Wow, glad you asked. No bars on the shelf? Go find an employee and ask them to check to see if there is product in the back room and ask them to Bro, bring them what? out so you can put it on the shelf to match the tags. I never heard about this. What the f dude? Imagine a seven-year-old looking for the Walmart manager so he can ask to stock shelves for a chance to be compensated. Dude, was Walmart in on this? This was not just one off-the-cuff tweet. This was like planned with instructions and graphics and everything. Also, a company asking oh children God, for selfies is a little bit weird. And while you're at it, if you want to maybe move some Hershey's bars and make sure that Feast but does a, he does a face, face, too. I wouldn't complain. <laughs> That's wow. not some pop type of shit. I just shit. cannot believe they were going to give $5,000 to one of Mr. Beast's child laborers for stocking shelves. And no one at Mr. Beast was like, hey, this is a terrible idea. Uh, actually, if you said that, you'd probably get fired. This is the best tasting chocolate on earth. Good job, boys. Whoa, 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 whoa. How do we know that's the best tasting chocolate in the world? You're fired. <laughs> what? This is such horse shit. You can do that? I mean, that is a bit of a stretch. Yeah. The most shocking result was that Feastables never earned anything higher than a third place ranking. But I do think their branding is like world's best chocolate bar is, um, how that? do you how do you get away with that? World's best chocolate. World's best pizza. What does that even what does that even what does that even you fucking mean? Define that yourself. Yeah, I mean I guess. You know, happy dads actually sell to, a lot. I don't know. Am I I'd, sore? I'm sure whoever like her boy, her worked on his proud. marketing gave some thought to it or something. I got no. one last point on consideration. Either, either, they're, like, either they're really old or really young. Like, the enough boys that they're like... In the attention economy, like, it is uh, the seltzer, valuable resource that advertisers directly like pay Mr. Beast for. Seltzer. So in these live streams when Mr. Beast says, hey guys, today we're doing a bunch of illegal lotteries, but also we're going to be giving away some free stuff to people who keep watching. He does that to boost viewer numbers. I'm going to give you guys a reason to keep watching, okay? Here's what I'm going to do. Um, Randomly, I'm not going to tell you when, it could be 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour. I'm going to randomly pick one person watching this IG live stream and one person watching this YouTube live stream. I'm going to give you each $5,000. So, Bro. keep watching. Damn. There's no predictable so intervals for when work. Mr. Beast will give things away for free to people who watch. So you have to be present when they happen, which means viewers have to keep watching, which is time and effort that directly benefits Mr. Beast. The more viewers, the more money Crypto Mr. Beast scams. obviously makes, one? either directly through sales or AdSense or just getting boosted in the YouTube algorithm. So even the free giveaways could and should be against the law. Mr. Beast just uses gambling psychology to exploit young children for profit. He's just become the first casino where the currency you pay with is attention. Do you think attention is the most valuable currency in the world? Well, of course. Uh, or labor or money sometimes yeah his core audience is like i'd say like 10 to 12 year old mm. boys older people are a little bit over him some people kind of question the ethics you know they sometimes say in these videos where he like builds <laughs> all these wells or you know cures people of all this blindness it's almost like he's exploiting people for these views so older always new always him, but this audience they love him i didn't know you see by the time you could get me a car so well, why I mean, wouldn't i 
I'm gonna give you guys a reason to keep watching. I don't know. As far as fake giveaways go, I'm sort of limited. Yeah, I'm I can say without exposing confidential information bro, and getting sued. Bro, this guy's like so how Alex Pereira was at the beginning. People thought he was the villain. Slipped through the cracks. Bro, look, he's the hero. Personally, I believe that is intentional. Here's one example where someone on Reddit posted saying that they were promised free dog food for life in exchange for letting Mr. Beast use them in a video. Five months later, they still haven't received their dog food. I actually sent this post to someone who works at Mr. Beast and they said they were gonna send it to the PR team and then the Reddit post got taken down. So Damn. I don't know if it got resolved. Here's another example of things slipping through the cracks. The second thing that I probably would do different is invest. And I know what y'all about to say, Y'all about to go to the clip to where Jimmy said that we set a certain amount aside to invest. I know you talked about wanting to maybe invest 50k oh, and then set guy. aside like the other 23 for just other little nuances yes. here and there. This is not me calling anybody a liar or anything because I know what I know what y'all do. I know what the internet does. But what I think what happened was somebody that worked for Mr. Beast or something like that was supposed to probably help me invest, but that didn't happen. I talked to Jimmy uh, when I, after I won a million dollars, after I finally like got the remaining amount in my bank account i was telling him i was like man i don't want to fail i don't want to be like how everybody's saying like i'm gonna run out of money and do all this crazy stuff i was like man jimmy please help me and he said he was gonna help me and trying to and we was gonna invest but yeah that didn't happen so I, if you actually watch this video you know mr beast does say that they're not going to be irresponsible that they're going to try to set mark up for life and that they are going to help him with investing what we're actually going to do is be responsible and try to set mark up for his future so we're going to make smart purchases like a house cars and do some investing but according to mark mr beast only gave him an hour to plan what house to buy and then gave him only 24 hours to spend the bulk of his money for a video time i wish i would have had more time and i wish i would have planned out stuff better like that was the, the best best example i can give you is when uh mm, i don't know because i feel like it's weird because that was the whole point of the challenge hour. that was only you know, an hour we had right? somebody come to my house or that was only like and a we sat down and we planned all this that he won a challenge yeah, to be able to get to my house and we planned this out oh. and yeah in about an hour so i wish i would have had more time and i wish i would have did a couple things differently on the time management side which i guess i really couldn't help because i had to spend it i had to spend the money and i had to like do all this so i'm starting to think he might have been a little bit better off if you didn't make him spend a million dollars in 24 hours for content can i just say i'm super glad you won the million dollars all i need from you is a signature right here the vehicles are yours what we're actually going to do is be responsible and try to set mark up for his future you better not read it you're a millionaire you get time to read <laughs> Thank the you. more you show us around, the more I'm like, thank God you won the million dollars. <laughs> Buy my chocolate bar. I might save you too. Oh, That's it. So, you're selling Krabby Patties, eh, Plankton? That's right, Squidward. Hey, this is a video. This don't matter. A free huh? Helmet with this don't matter. Purchase, I mean, this don't matter. No. You Video's can't done. Wait, everyone else in this backwater town, but you can't fool me. Like you're as emotional as you can be. Well, damn, bro, just end the video like that. So I like, have your hand reaching for it and like really shot with your mouth open. That was a good video. I can't even lie. He got a sub up from me. Hey man, get a sub too. And the light, you got everything. All right, all right, all right. Look at the comments. Comments important. There is no Easter Bunny, and there is no Mr. Beast. I miss old YouTuber. YouTubers were the biggest channels for just ordinary people making content from their home. It's all celebrities, scam artists, and corporations. Sad. That's so true. Like I, I think weren't we just talking about this the other day, babe? How like everything is just a bunch of like like now they're just celebrities, like scam artists and corporations. Like when people just used to just be like people yeah. on YouTube and just like doing their thing. Getting cancelled is the natural lifespan, lifespan of an influencer. Praise Ellen the generous David Dobrik and Ellen Mr. Beast. And that's true, bro. People that just do that random act of kindness and philanthropy, bro, like. Yeah, we said no one's that kind. No one's that kind. The way Mr. B acted. Mr. Beast got some ulterior motive. I always knew it. I always knew there's something wrong with him. But I, I, I still thought like I didn't think it, like he didn't bring no random heads. He Wait, really brought. So no what's wrong with Chandler though? Because you said there was something about in here about Chandler. 
No, it says Chandler's good. Oh. He just a grunt. He just a grunt. Yeah, he just there. He just, he just a grunt. He didn't do nothing. He didn't say nothing during the little live stream that we saw. The little clip. That's true. I have but, but I, I pray, but the thing. I pray we still don't. I just pray we it's still don't see nothing. All of this, so he's not no better. Wait, what do you mean? What did you say? I, obviously, he knows everything that's going on, so that don't make him a better person. But that's like, true. But um, oh, you man. know, yeah. they're all. At the end of at the end of the day, they all. You know, they just want to think that they want to come out. Bro spent his time going through the live streams, going through old Instagram live streams, going through old the lead Facebook live streams. Bro was bro was on some hating shit. I hope with it though. I respect it. A good video not monetized. It really came from the heart. No, for real.